Semi-finals of the Champions League doesn't get much bigger than this, does it? And if you look at their goals for their records, goodness me, Real Madrid 141 goals this season, Bayern 138. Don't think this... In what remains a formidable-looking attack, their perceived weaknesses at the other end of the pitch, where the concerns of Sergio Ramos this is out with Mario Mandzukic, Dortmund less so. Slipped through, but the offside flag is up there against Iron Robin. Not comfortable though for Real Madrid. Ribery. Robin gets his shot away. Back to behind. Scott blocking. It's ominous to being pushed back and pushed back. Press with a corner. Header from uh, Bastian Schweinsteiger. Straight at Cassins. There's two or three Real Madrid players in there that are really giving some inches away. In terms of height, it's going to be a problem for them if they keep giving set pieces away. Pepe looking long. Again, we don't see uh, Benzema involved as it's beyond him. Here's Di Maria in towards Ronaldo, and the header is straight at Lawyer. Oh, he got too much on it, Ronaldo. He would have wanted to try and glance it, use the pace on the ball to get it into the... Di Maria goes for it himself, straight down the goalkeeper's throat. Oh, he ignored Ronaldo, who's out. It's Lam. That's good for Modric. An early ball in, Ronaldo! Well, that just shows he is human. Oh, he knows it. Alonso trying to force him wide. And the end frustrates him. Here's Lahm, and look at the space here that Frank Ribery's got. Well, fatigue is set. Rafinha. Lance made the run, it wasn't picked up, but he couldn't quite squeeze it in from the angle. There's the way the pass has run away from him. But again... Ronaldo climbs all the way across to Angel Di Maria! Oh, they just had how the wilting at one end. But Di Maria, Ronaldo have had two brilliant chances to make it 2 and 3 nil. And in these moments... He's got four to his left. And Ronaldo... There ends the first half, and a strange first half in many ways, in which Bayern Munich have had three quarters of the possession and have looked comfortably in control with the obvious one for Guardiola that I think would solve two problems back there where he belongs in that holding two control in the game. This is the Alaba one there, you see where Neuer now doesn't get attracted out to the ball, stays where he is at that near pole, good goalkeeping. See sometimes goalkeepers there after the defender makes a mistake, rushing out, and they get too close. 